Good evening everybody, Rosemary here. I'd just like to share a, um, a tutorial with you using the Raven Fairy from Lavinia Stamps. I did this um, project a few weeks ago for the craft store. Just thought I'd share it with you now. The products we're using today are <coughs> the Raven Fairy, the Falling Ivy, Fairy Spells, and the mini holly there are four um, four stamps we're going to use we're going to use a five and a half piece inch five and a half inch piece of multifarious card some mica minerals i've used silver pearl i didn't use this on the original card but i'm going to use it on this one to see if it'll give a bit more shine um lavinia stamps olive element sink and russet orange Versifying Claire Nocturne and Versifying Claire Shady Lane. I'm going to use my Lavinia Stamps um, blending brushes. They're quite new. Um, I quite like these ones. And my Lavinia Stamps fan brush. And we also need some low tack tape. And I'm also using the flower mask. I've also got a um, clear jelly roll pen and a red glitter pen so let's get started so I'm going to take my piece of multifarious card <clears throat> there are some other um, pieces of equipment that you'll use uh, um, but we'll, we'll add them in as we go along so for, to start with I'm going to start with my elements ink russet orange by lavinia stamps these these are really really nice and juicy so i'm just going to dab my brush into the ink and then i'm going to gently using a circular motion just brush the ink all over my card i will speed up this part of the video um, just to cut down on the time, trying to keep the video to 30 minutes. I'm really sorry about the shadow in the background. <coughs> but I've tried, I have no idea how to get rid of it at the moment, so I'm going to have to do some research. I'm now putting my fairy mask, my um, flower mask, over my card and I'm gently brushing over also with my russet orange ink I did this <clears throat> I was going to have like a moon in the background but I um, I thought the flower mask would look very pretty as a sort of moon type shape in the back of the background and I can gently pick up and see how much I can see my mask in the background, which is going to be my moon. There we go. <coughs> I'll now wipe the excess orange away using a little bit of water and a damp cloth and then dry. Okay, now I'm going to take my green elements which is olive green and my green brush and I'm going to repeat the process dabbing off my excess ink this ink pad as you can see is very very juicy I haven't used this one as much as the orange 
and I'm gently going to just brush around the edge of my card. And that's a nice green edge to my card. And once again, I'll speed this process up to try and cut down the time on the video if it's too long. <clears throat> so that's our card so far. Once again, with my damp cloth, I'm going to mop up the excess green. On my mat. And then dry with my other cloth. Okay. So that's our card so far. We're now going to do the stamping. But before I do the stamping, I'm actually going to heat dry this ink. Because I'm now going to use my mica powders and I don't really want it to stick to all this ink. So I will fast forward this part of the video. So that's now nice and dry. I don't need my stamping platform at the moment. I'm just going to use it because it's got this nice piece of foam on it. That sometimes comes in really handy when you're looking up. And the first stamp I'm going to use is my Fairy Spells. <clears throat> so I'm putting my Fairy Spells onto my block. I'm going to stamp using second generation. So I've got a nice piece of paper next to me and I'm going to ink up I'm going to wipe away these bits that are on the edge so I really don't want them to go onto my card Oh dear, what have done there? <clears throat> I must have ink on my fingers. I have got ink on my fingers. And then I'm going to stamp second generation just there. Wiping it off the edge of my card again. And then once more there. Now, normally what I do with these inks when I'm stamping with them is I just lay them on the stamp and press it down. Because that way, because they're very spongy. Stamp off onto there and then stamp onto my card. And once again, we'll do the same on the last one. I just let it drop onto my stamp, pick it up, fairy spell stamped so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my fan brush and my mica powder <clears throat> I've got a little blob there but I'm not too worried about that at the moment I used to panic and start all over again but not anymore and 
I'm just going to brush my mica powder over my sentiment just to give my letters a little bit of a glittery appearance. You don't need a lot, just a little tiny bit is enough. And hopefully you can see now that that sparkles. I don't know if you can see that. That's sparkling now. Okay. So the next thing we're going to stamp is our fairy. <clears throat> I'm going to put my card in the middle. I'm going to place my <coughs> place my magnets. Get my raven stamp, and I'm going to place her so that my tree branch comes into the centre, and she's just off there. And we're going to pick up our stamp. I'm going to turn my pad round. And using our Nocturne Versafine Claire, we're going to ink up our fairy. I do like to make sure that there's nothing on the edge of the stamps because sometimes it can ruin your card. And we're going to press down. And the thing I like about stamping platforms is if it doesn't come out the first time, you can put a little bit more ink on it. But these fairies are usually really, really good. And the multifarious card is very good as well. So just pressing down all around. And there we go. <clears throat> just going to put a little tiny bit more ink on her leg there that's all <clears throat> there we go so that's it i'm happy with that take her off and then i'm going don't need my stamping platform anymore, so I'm going to put that to one. Well, actually, I'm going to use the other side of my stamping platform, the spongy side. I find stamping on um, a piece of sponge is much easier than having just a hard surface. It seems to stamp better. <clears throat> so I'm going to put my piece of card underneath, my piece of paper underneath. And the next thing I'm going to stamp is my mini holly. So I'll just get my little mini holly stamp. Which is there. And I have a nice a small round acrylic block. Which I also bought from Lavinia Stamps. And using my shady lane. Okay, I, I never bring my stamp to my pad. I always bring my pad to my stamp. So that way I've got a little bit more control now. I stamp my first one in a corner. And then I'm going to stamp a little shadow in the background so it looks like there's more holly leaves 
And I'm just going to put one there now. I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> so I'm going to stamp and stamp. And I could really stamp in there just to give a bit more. And then this process is just repeated from as far as the tree and then opposite on the other side all the way round three quarters of your card so i'll speed this <coughs> up you can keep moving your holly leaves round so they're facing different ways Now what I did just here, as you can see, is I just came in a little bit further around this to give it a bit more shade in there, make it look like it was coming in a bit more. But I only did it in second stamping. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to use my, as I call it, my shadow stamp. Whoops to bring it in a bit. And that's it. Okay. Um, so that's we're finished with our holly stamp. And the next stamp we're going to use is our falling ivy. As you can see, it's still sparkly. <clears throat> so I have a longer block for my ivy. I do have a thinner one, but I don't know where I've put it. I have two crafting areas and sometimes they get moved from place to place and I forget I've moved them sometimes. <clears throat> And what I did here <clears throat> is I wanted to have a little bit of ivy coming down just on the edge. So I bring the dark one in first. And then once again, oh gosh, I put a bit more up there now because I need it. There we go. <clears throat> and then I'll do the same on this side, make sure I get it in the right place this time. <clears throat> Accidents happen. And then I'm just going to second generate a bit of ivy on there. And the same again, just to give you a bit more extra ivy in the background. Now the next thing I've done was I had my ivy coming off my tree. I only used the bottom half of my tree. I think that's why I only um, inked up that bottom half there. Um, so what I want to do is I want to bring my ivy in towards the holly so i'll just do that okay and now i'm going to use the ivy on my on my branch but before i do that i'm just going to wipe off all this excess ink so I can have a fresh start and then I'm just going to dry it. Okay, 
and this is where my low tech tape is going to come in because I want to know I don't want my ivy coming down too far in the first stamped image so I'm just going to make sure that I don't go onto my fairy so I'm just going to put that there to protect her <clears throat> and then I can see that I want my stamped ink to go up there and I can see where the ink is on this side that's the good thing about clear acrylic blocks so I can now start stamping my fairy uh, my ivy against my fairy branch and once again I don't want to go that high so you'll go there and we'll come in again with a little bit of shadow in the background and keep measuring and coming up so our ivy is not so long each time there we go and now i just want little bits of ivy and now i'm going to move my tape over into that area there onto that branch first just a little bit there Go onto there because it's creeping across onto that side. <coughs> and I'll just do a little dark one there. I'm quite happy with that now. I'll just have a little bit tiny bit of ivy coming down from that branch because it looks like it's growing on the whole tr branch there we go that's it <coughs> that's nearly our card finished so we've only got a few more little things to do and the first thing we're going to do is get our red pen and our gold pen. And we're also going to get back our green olive Lavinia stamps element sink. And we're just going to re-ink over the top of our green and because my ink is wet I'm going to cover it up with so I'm just going to re-ink in green where I did before just wipe off the ink So with my red pen, I'm really sorry about the shadow. I'm going to have to get somebody to help me sort this out. I'm going to just go little red berries. Put my bit of card on there. All my little red berries. I'm now going to use my glitter pen.
and then we'll change to our gold pen. <clears throat> you have to be very careful because this it does take quite a bit of time to dry. And as you see, I just caught, realised like just in time that I'd um, lent on the red ink. And then my last and final task before mounting the card up is to just highlight. Now I've got a pen that doesn't want to work. It was working. And highlight her hair as well. Sometimes this is better left when the ink is dry as well. Because your pen seems to work better when the ink is dry. And then I just follow along to some of her strands of hair. <coughs> and then I follow down the lines of the fairy herself. Just looking for another pen. Okay, this one doesn't seem to want to work, even though it's brand new. That's better. So we follow along the lines of the fairy. And as you can see, she's coming along nicely. You can see that glitteriness. And then the final thing I do is I highlight the veins on my holly leaves. So there we go. I've highlighted my berries on my holly leaves. I've highlighted the holly leaf veins. I've highlighted the fairy. And I've highlighted the ivy as well. And that's our card finished. And then we just mount it up onto a <clears throat> double mount. Or you can mount it up however you like. Put it in a picture frame. Make lovely presents. I um, hope you enjoyed my video and I look forward to making the next one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.